Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. Now, in today's podcast, I wanted to discuss the next part of rumors regarding EY splitting up. One of the other rumors floating around is that EY is going to IPO, and there's various rumors that come off of that, such as that the EY audit firm. I guess audit slash tax would IPO out the consulting arm of E and Y. Uh, similar to Accenture would be the, I guess the E and Y advisory business would be its own public company. And there was a, an article that compared it to Goldman Sachs going public and Accenture, Accenture going public, which I think would be, is a good model. And I think that's what E and Y would use as the model. I think the only difference here is that that I think the EY partners and the audit the audit partners or the tax partners would want a significant payout, obviously, or they'd want some kind of shares out of that. Um, they obviously probably it'd probably be hard to hold shares since there would be a conflict of interest with that. The conflict of interest would remain. Um, I'm sure partners would find a way around that if it was lucrative enough to keep those shares, but there's just a lot of implications, but I think that's why all these rumors are floating around and nothing's been done because you have to look at this thing from multiple different angles for the existing partners at E&Y. It is a once in a lifetime event that can (laughs) make you rich, uh, richer than your wildest dreams and richer than the money that they'll make for the rest of their careers from like a one-time a one-time thing because you're you're selling a major component of your business and and I think the partners would want to be compensated well if they went public because they know that if they let that happen then these advisory partners are going to make tons of money while they're going to be left behind to have a sleepy accounting business now, with that being said, I think there's some benefits to doing this for the audit firms, for the audit firm that would be left behind. And the benefit, I think, would be like if if E and Y audit was actually to remain independent and not get into all this other stuff again, then you could market yourself to companies as, "Hey, we're a standalone audit firm. We're not going to run into all those complications you have with the big four accounting firms." where you have to go through all these audit committee approvals for these other services to make sure that you're not uh, conflicted. It would be a lot more straightforward. And so I think that's one thing that could happen. Maybe e can penetrate some of these other markets, like financial services. They could get more involved in there. Uh, because right now they're, they're not really in financial services as far as audit, as big as they would like to be. But on the flip side, they make a lot of money of consulting and tax services from financial services. So th- that's something on the flip side. So I don't think right now the way it stands, Y wants to go after financial services because they would ruin all their consulting work that they do. But if they were to be an audit-only firm, then I think they would go after that. Um, so it- it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this. Um, I think Y is in a unique situation because these rumors got out. Um, they have to make a decision at some point. But, I mean, there's no real rush on it other than maybe some time limits on the CEO as far as his tenure uh, and, and his compensation structure because if he wants to get paid out of this, then he obviously wants it to happen sooner so that he can earn as much out of it as possible. And, obviously, various members of the board and senior partners but we'll stand and make the most. But other than that, I think they have plenty of time to look at the various ways to pay themselves out. If this is going to happen, I think it'll happen somehow. So just remember that we have various scenarios here where the audit firm will be spun off by itself. The audit slash tax firm will spin out the consulting business. And uh, there, there's just a whole lot of entanglements, a whole lot of, legal stuff to look through especially since they're trying to do this on a global scale to 
operate as a global firm in these various lines of business, then I, I think that there's a lot to implicate. There's a lot to consider here. And I think somebody also commented, and I encourage people to comment on YouTube, that you know, ENY is structured differently than the other big four. And, and I disagree with that. Uh, the, the big four accounting firms are structured differently from each other, but they're also the same. So that they have the same implications to say that they have something different than the other big four is not really, is, is not really why this is happening. It, it'd be, it might be the mix of clients, like I said before, and that's what that one article highlighted of, of the technology focus. And you're not able to take those technology, partner with those technology companies to your uh, other clients because of conflicts of interest. But to say that it's it's something completely unique to you know why is not true, because the other big four, as been stated in, in articles, have looked at this, and there's even news now that KPMG is scaling back their audit practice, especially in Europe, out of all the scandals. So, audit within the big four accounting firms is shrinking, and so my advice to people that are coming out of school is. Unless you're planning to be a CFO or CEO through the audit path, then I would shy away from audit because the big four accounting firms are obviously trying to separate audit. It's not growing within the current big four structure because of various complications. Some might say conflicts of interest. I say it's also regulation. Countries around the world are trying to regulate audit to death and blame auditors for everything. And so that's not a lucrative path. And there's EY here trying to split out the audit firm. And then KPMG is saying they're, they're just giving up on taking on more audit clients because it just causes too much of a headache for the rest of their business. And I think the big four accounting firms are seeing such huge growth in consulting that it's worth giving up on audit um, or giving up on significant areas of audit because there's just too much money to be made in consulting. But it'll be interesting to see the path that ENY pushes forward in whatever path they come up with. I'm sure the other big four are going to copycat. I'm sure now the big four, all of them are reinvestigating this area. Uh, PwC just came up with their new equation, but they might have to go back and, and look, make sure that equation is right <laughs> after all this. Because it, here's the other thing that people aren't even thinking about is partners are short-sighted. We talk about it on this podcast a lot because we talk about how they view employees and they only look at them in the short term and they only look at because they, they laid off a bunch of employees and they hired them back and then they started giving them all kinds of compensation. If that isn't short-sighted, I don't know what is. So we know that partners are short-sighted and since they are short-sighted, these other big four, if they hear the EY partners are getting paid out huge bonuses or huge payouts or getting huge, equity payments, whatever you want to call it, then they're going to want a slice of that cake as well. And the most the people that are making the decision at the big four accounting firms are senior partners. And guess who's the closest to retirement? Senior partners. So who's going to want that big payout? Senior partners. So they're all going to be looking at this if e y goes through with it. If e y doesn't go through with it, I think these partners still have a fiduciary duty to look at this and at least, you know, put get, get a couple of proposals together to show to the board, to the other partners, to show that they did their job and at least look at it. But if e y goes through with it, I guarantee you the other big four are going to look into it very closely. But that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and check out the show notes for useful links. Thanks for listening.